Uh, the next question is from Brother Nafir as well from Oman. He's asking about the belief which is practiced in Pakistan. It's called Wahdatul Wujud and Wahdatul Shu'ur. And he wants to know the Islamic perspective about these beliefs. The philosophy of Al Hulul and Wahdatul Wujud, I would like everybody to pay close attention to what I'm going to say. Is a belief which was uh, adopted and spread by philosophers and extreme Sufis such as Ibn Arabi. Ibn Arabi is a big time inspirer and leader and big time Shaykh to Sufis and he is judged by the mainstream of the Ummah as a disbeliever. As a disbeliever. And I would like to warn uh, people against mixing between Ibn Arabi and Ibn al Arabi. Whenever it has Alif al Lam that's related to a great scholar, a Maliki scholar, follower of uh, Imam Malik's school of uh, fiqh, that's a great scholar. But uh, Muhyiddin ibn Arabi is an extreme Sufi who believed in Wahidatul Wujud and who spread this philosophy where he says that basically Wahidatul Wujud it means there is no difference between the Creator and the creatures, between the Creator and the creation. So he says that if somebody ended up worshipping a dog, uh, there is no blame because he's worshipping God because he believes, and those who believe in that extreme Sufis, those who totally went astray. I would like to emphasize what I said. I said extreme Sufis because there are some Sufis who are practicing the Sunnah. Uh, Sufism in, in, uh, in a sense of uh, being uh, pious, being uh, um, pi- adopting piety, uh, disregarding the worldly grit, glitter and uh, living as very humble people. But the extreme Sufis who uh, believe in saints, believe in uh, peer, believe in calling on the dead, believe in worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, do not belong to this ummah as the Prophet sallallahu predicted that some people would attribute themselves to this ummah and will call themselves Muslims but in reality they deviated and they went astray and they do not belong to this Ummah. Muhyiddin ibn Arabi uh, is one of them, and there are so many other names, obviously. So be aware of this practice or this belief of Wahdatul Wujud, where they believe that uh, whatever we do, uh, there is no difference between God and His creation, because His soul is spread in every living creature. And the, 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 the wujud or the whole universe existed since ever. I mean, it did not have a beginning. As we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, every creation is hadith. Hadith means it has a beginning and will have an end. And this is a major difference between al rabb and Al-Abd, between the Lord and the servant. And this is how they violated the concept of the unity of the Lordship. They confused the issues between the Lord and the servant. So be aware of them and do not follow any of their practices because they are not Muslims. If you know some who have been deceived and uh, ignorantly followed them, you need to explain to them and warn them because this is not a matter of being uh, a rebellious or a sinner or, or this is a matter of choosing between Iman and Kufr, white and black. So those who don't know, we give them the benefit of doubt. But those who uh, believe in that knowingly, they have a choice to disbelieve in the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, save us from this.